Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, Despair. In the first episode of the second trial, or at the last episode to which we started the second trial, I was experiencing some major difficulties in brain power, and uh, hopefully that doesn't persist through this case, because if it does, I don't know what else <laughs> to say. I'm just going to let this game play out and see what we do from there. At this point, Hyoko has been found out to be a liar. Based on how ugly they are. Wow. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Hmm. They're not Hyoko's footprints? That's strange. Here comes the weirdo. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Yep. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Okay, at least someone's uh aware of it. Plus. Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Oh, I remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. Mm. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Okay, here we go. Let's make the argument. <clears throat> Footprints in the beach, metal bat, shower room, iron, uh, letter on Mahiru. Iron barred window. Okay. I gotta listen. Go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Oh, okay. That... Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? There's only the one thing. With her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? Wait, hold on. Which one do I need to refute then? Okay, hold on. Let let I need, I'm gonna need to listen back because I'm glad that I do listen to everything. Kyoko says she never saw my hero, but is that really true? I did go to the beach house. Mm-hmm. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? Yeah, obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Hmm. What? You saw? You saw Mahiru and me see each other? So where's your proof? Explain it in more detail so I can understand. Uh, also the fact that we saw her running from there, but oh well. Seems I messed up. Damn it! I should think about this one more time. Okay. Hmm. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? Possibly to the one thing the first thing that I thought to refute. Hmm. Yoko said she never saw Mahiru, but is that really true? Okay. I'm gonna try this one. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. 
course. Then you didn't meet at the beach house. Okay, try it again. I did go to the beach house. I gotta get rid of this first one to shoot it. God fucking damn it. Oh my god. Alright. The the protective area is bigger than I think it is, and that's what sucks about it. Okay. No, that's wrong. All right. I should have trusted my gut and went with the first one. Fuck. <sighs> During your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place in time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2:30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's not try to see each other for a while. Mm, excuse me. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Yoko Sayanji. That's the letter. It's the one Makino had, right? I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Oh snap, I remember now. I totally saw you. Kazuichi, God, I want to hit you. You could have said anything. Huh? <laughs> Ugh. Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her. Then ran away afterward. That's a full hour. I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. Yeah, but... Would it really be an hour after? I don't know. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner through your Hiko. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. And this is where I have trouble with the games and not being able to experience it firsthand, because I don't know what direction Fuyuhiko was coming from. I feel as if like he was coming from, from his cottage to uh, the burger joint where he's eaten before, and then he went back to his cottage, but I don't know for certain. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know. I didn't even write that letter. I, I'm telling the truth. I really, really don't know. <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too. Oh, did Peko find it? Hmm, the only place I can think of where Hyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? Oh! Oh, that's cool! They actually added this part in. Nice! Here! Here! <laughs> the place where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the oven. Hiyoka. Your favorite candy is gummy. Correct. What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. I really can't tell if we actually have her backed into a corner or if she's like literally just I don't know. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. 
But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. No. Okay, that's that's where you're wrong, Pekko. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark favors of destruction didn't even need to come out. It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? it? It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? Mm. The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. And why would you know that, Hyoko? You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. It's your brain fried or something. That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Continue to say such foolish things. I shall tear you limb from limb. You have no room to talk, Gundam. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head. Also, the is she could admit anything. Even if it if it's not her, she could just say that she moved the body to prop it up and just say that much at all. It's true that Hyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. Yeah, I'm being directed by Pekko, which I kind of suspected from the water before. Oh yeah, that, that's right, all the water that she would have poured on herself. Yeah. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh oh, nice! And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! Mm-hmm, can't really refute that. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house! So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. Oops. Wait, hold on. It looks like everyone doubts Hyoko. Is that really okay? I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's hmm. conclusion. Hyoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh -oh, nice. Hold on. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road. Was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprint. Hold on. Okay. Uh truth bullets. Okay, footprints on the beach, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Trash can. There were a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside the trash can in, in the beach house. They were probably drinks from the refrigerator. I don't think I can, can connect that to anything. What? Uh, gummy bag. What is exactly about this? Apparently there were a lot of these inside Hyoko's room. Each bag comes with four flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange? Is it supposed to be like some far-fetched connection where it's like, yeah, it was yellow, so it's 
lemon or some shit like that. I gotta... Okay, what are... Is that really okay? Footprints on the beach, trash can, yellow gummy. Yoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And you also, so that's mm. when you Hold on, let me let me listen to everything from the very beginning again, not even worrying about the bullets. Okay. It looks like everyone doubts Hiyoko. Is that really okay? I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? <laughs> and weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time the door facing the road, was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beach side entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. I literally have no idea what I could refute. Except for the fact that the body... Uh... Okay, hold on, let me... Let me pick out what I can refute. Um... Trap? There's no doubt. You went to the beach house. And weren't you also hot? So that's when you drop the gummy. Waited for your chance, and afterward you fled. At the time, the door was blocked. Block the body. Blocked by the body. And that's how you left your footprints. Left your footprints. Only four things. Okay, those four things. I'll tr um, truth bullets. Okay. Gummy bag. Hey, there were a lot. Uh. Of these inside Hyoko's room. And there's five bullets. Uh, killer's escape route. That has nothing to do with this. Normally you can't leave the music room without passing. Yeah, okay. Mmm, yellow gummy. A gummy found in the closet at the beach house. Trash can. There are a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside the trash can in the beach house. They were probably drinks from the refrigerator. Okay. Footprints on the beach, I think, was one of them. Footprints were found near the crime scene. The trail leads from the beach house and loops around toward the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus. What are... Oh, shit. Um... Okay. Footprints on the beach. Trash can, yellow gummy, killer's escape route, gummy bag. Uh, footprints on the beach I don't see as necessary anymore. Trash can, I don't see how that can connect to literally anything. Yellow gummy. Uh, killer's escape route isn't prevalent here. I'm thinking gummy bag, and I'm testing this out here. I, sh I swear to fucking god, if it's something connected to, like, lemon flavor. The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. Huh. It's true, Hyoko likes to eat gummies. But she only eats a specific brand. I swear to God. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? <laughs> I, 
Why? Why? <laughs> None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. I clearly see yellow right there. <laughs> yellow is right in the image. I see red, orange, yellow, and green. I don't see any blue or anything. Uh, unless you're going to construe it as somehow as like coconut or some shit. Where it's like, oh yeah, it's a really off-putting white color. Fuck off. <laughs> Yoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! <sighs> Fruit Loops. Notorious for this. Just because they're different colored doesn't mean they're actually differently flavored. It's literally just food coloring. That is it. Oh! <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? This case is testing my patience. Oh, get my revenge. I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might. Hold on, you little bitch. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Okay. Let's make the argument. <sighs> Nikon's autopsy report. It was moved. Guarantee it. Hold on, I should probably... Yoko yet. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just make sure that that's actually mentioned. Ahi received a blow to the head from behind and died instantly. Yeah. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road. Nope. Thanks to her. We have the evidence we need. That's wrong. Mm-hmm. I left those footprints during my morning walk. You're still saying that? I gotta figure out what's right and what's wrong. I know exactly what it is. Akane. Right here, I gotta get rid of... Gotta get rid of something pink first. God fuck. Alright. The game did it on purpose, giving you false hope with just ones that are broken in one... And then all of a sudden, it just... What does that mean? See, it breaks in one. Used her last ounce of strength. No, that's wrong. <sighs> the game did it on purpose, and they know it. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! I'm sorry. Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. I mean, I guess, but I'm also trying to figure out how the hell, uh, Pekka would have been able to get through the window by herself. Akane did mention that it is possible. So I'm thinking maybe she used her kendo sword and, like, wedged it, uh, between, like, the glass of the shower and the wall. And just used that to prop herself up and then climbed, climbed up to the window, grabbed it from underneath, unwedged it, and then hopped out that way. Then Hiyoko was just left to having to go out the back door. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. Mm-hmm. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? I'm surprised. If she handled the body that bloody, 
think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Okay, so Chiaki isn't thinking like that. Okay. I, I was like, how is Chiaki still thinking that she's the murderer? But oh well. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... Completely clean. She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! Not exactly, but it's close. I won't let you look down on me! Okay, rebuttal showdown it is! We haven't decided that yet! Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Hmm. Rebuttal showdown. Footprints on the beach. Okay, this time I've got enough time to look at other shit. Footprints on the beach, metal bat, shower room, iron barred window, Mikan's autopsy report. It's gonna be one of these two, I think. The shower room or the iron barred window. There's only one route to escape. The iron barred window is what I probably have to use. Mayuru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her box. Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. Jesus. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the pit after she moved the body. She just washed it off in the shower. Oh, okay. The fact that Hyoko was at the beach can be proven. Did you get all that, you bastard? I didn't see the orange text until later. Fuyuhiko has, hasn't thoroughly investigated the crime scene at the beach house. And I need to tell him that he's wrong by using that piece of evidence. So what, dumbass? I'm... Come on. Come on. You can't... After she moved the body, she just watched the fact that Fuck. Yoko was at the beach can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? Okay, Jesus. The fact that you can't swap the blades, maybe I just have to hit Q for that, but that is really annoying that you can't swap the blades and still cut at the same time. Because then you take damage unnecessarily. Ugh. Alright, I gotta pay attention so for that. What, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach after she moved the body. She just washed it off in the shop. Allow me to cut through those words. Allow me to cut through those words! <laughs> I gotta try to remember that one too. Washing it off in the shower is impossible, because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then, maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Are you saying I did something that perverted? No, she can't tie her thing. Kyoko took off her clothes, uh, took off her clothes before committing murder. No, that should be impossible. She can't get undressed by herself. She wasn't wearing clothes at all. Her clothes fused to her body. She can't get dressed by herself. I see. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. I... I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Which means, Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. And at least smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Mm hmm Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiru's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? I'm... I, okay, so... What was the whole thing with Peko then? Like, what was the motive, and why was she just there at that time? If so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. 
Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. But... But... It, didn't he himself say that going too far would be bad for him? Still confused about the mask, where you would have been when the murder took place. Would Did Peko send notes to Mahiru and Hyoko? Uh I don't know. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her! Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! 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 Kyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bar! I hope you get a hangnail and die! <laughs> okay, a bit of a stretch, but oh well. <laughs> and I'm sorry for being pig bar! More importantly, Fuhiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Hyoko of being suspicious. Could it be... Does he actually have something else in mind? Hey, Hyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already, so... Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too! It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier? Alright. <laughs> she never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. Didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Damn it! So that was a lie? Because I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Hmm. 2 p.m. Not 2.30. Interesting. Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. You got one, too. A letter? Uh-huh. Yeah, this one. Okay. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place? Mahiru Koi... It, everything is the same, except for the signature. The text is different. I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at, at 2 p.m. The beach house on the second island. Okay. So then, why was... Hmm. Why was Mahiru's at 2.30? It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. I don't know who is supposed to be killed, then. Hmm. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Mahiru Koizumi. The letter Hyoko received has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Huh. The letter that Hyoko had. Doesn't it clearly contradict that other evidence? Uh, letter Yoko, uh... Are you talking about letter on Mahiru? Y you mean this one? I don't know if this contradicts, but... I can prove it with this! This letter... 
Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiro had? That doesn't really contradict. It's literally just a time that's different. It's like it's just an observation. It's not it's not like they contradict anything. It <sighs> About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. Mahiro's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Hyoko's letter... I wonder what's up with the font. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same, at 2 p.m. Whoa! The meeting times are off! Yeah. So... When... Were they going to see each other eventually? I don't really understand. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? It's safe to say a letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? Oh, I was thinking that both of them were wrong. So, the one from Hyoko. The, the letter that Mahiru had. I thought, I was thinking both le letters, but... Maybe just this one. Okay. Go with my gut. The, the killer forged the letter, uh, Mahiru. If that's true, then that means Mahiru actually wrote the letter that was used to summon Hyoko. Is it really okay to say that only Mahiru's letter is real? Uh, yeah. Which letter did the killer forge? Both letters. I see. Uh. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they can manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters... Confirmed! Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Yeah, and then the handwriting in the letter from Fuyuhiko is also the same. I don't know if that's going to be prevalent, but I don't know. to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then, Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru! Mmm, ouch. Really? This is really terrible. Keep your mouth shut, please. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. <laughs> we can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Yoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep. Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. Okay. That helps out a lot. You were just... So you were just, uh... Where would you have been, though? Like, where would your body have been in the place? And why didn't they kill you? I, I don't... I don't know. Like, I'm still... Using her was probably just like as a scapegoat, but using her as well kind of just led to her being discovered 
as innocent. And that's how most cases actually end up being, is that the evidence that's planted is also the evidence that's used to refute it. It's, it's interesting, but I don't know. Uh, retroactively thinking, I should have just clicked both letters because even if Mahiru did actually write the first letter for Hyoko to actually go, how would the actual killer have been able to know exactly what was written? So, yeah. I'm stupid. Both letters. Yeah. Uh, medicine? That medicine? Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. Please, I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. Okay. And when I rushed out, I, I saw Mahiru's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. Mm -hmm. And for that reason... They summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. Yeah. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Yep. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong, and I was framed by Mahiru's killer! <laughs> Yoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. And there we go. Nagito somehow has something that makes sense. But I don't like it's, that it's coming from him. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Seriously, which side are you on? <laughs> I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. Yes, and for hope and for hope to be in existence, despair needs to be there. And same thing for despair to be anywhere, hope needs to be present. Where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying. <laughs> Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. Did she just say told us instead of told? So, let us believe Yoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. She's gonna get punched. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth. That may be true, but even so, we can't, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because... Unless we reveal who among us is Mahiru's true killer, there's 
no way we'll survive. And... Suspended. Intermission. Well now. Well now. Now that the class trial has reached its climax, I would like to present the an uh, present the answer right here, right now. Hey. You're gonna spoil who the killer is? <laughs> if I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. <laughs> you can't. That's seriously a big no-no. But <clears throat> going back and forth between theirs is really a dichotomy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... Ah, you can't. Everyone, please close your eyes and cover your ears. Correct. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Did she ever say Nanu? What you're talking about, but somehow it feels wrong to me. I'm pretty sure I already have the right person in my head. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you very much. Resume. Hi, Mona me. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Monty Rukes me is in this room. Oh, impossible, like I can't believe it. Way ahead of you, Monami. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? <laughs> now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Mm -hmm. Which means... The gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? Or they never left in the first place and they were just hiding in the shower? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. Yep, okay, Gundam's right. All right. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Oh, interesting. Cool. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the Logic Dive. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the... Move sideways with the mouse and accelerate with the control key. Oh, weird. Press the right mouse button to break and the left mouse button to jump. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. So make sure you're familiar with these controls as you... Yeah, so you can reach the uh, reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Branching branching questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice to you. If you press the escape key during the logic dive, you can review the controls. So it's just mouse back and forth. 
Uh, what was... Control was... Uh... Right mouse was break, left mouse was... Jump. What was control? Hold on. Well then, good luck and have fun. She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm going to do it. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta review the controls. Alright, logic dive. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, uh, move is to mouse, or mouse is to move, accelerate is the control key, break, is right mouse button, jump left, okay. Okay. Interesting minigame. Okay, this is a question. Uh, when did the killer arrive at the beach house? Before Hyoko arrived. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to continuously hold control. Okay. I don't know where the gaps are is the issue. Maybe, maybe that's the gap? I don't know. Missed. Question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? Uh... Before Hyoko left? Uh... Yeah. Oh, shit. I, gu I guess it is after Hyoko left. Because I was thinking maybe they had already washed off. Before she had woken up, and then was able to leave. So then where the f Did they go back? Did they go back in? Okay, so these are the jumps. So they had to have gone in and out. Or out and then back in. Question three. Where was the killer hiding while Hyoko was unconscious? Uh, the... Beach? Yeah, it, I was thinking the beach house, but... Where the hell would she have... been? unless they consider everything the beach house, just like outside. Maybe on top of the roof? Is that what you're... Is that what you're trying to tell me? Like, the way that unfolds just doesn't... <sighs> it's all coming together. It... Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Hiding on the roof? Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Like, I had my suspicions that they would have left, and then would have left before and then come back in. But like, uh, the thought process for me does not match the thought process for the characters. And that's where conflicting ideas comes into play. Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what she was like before. There should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a Kani bop you on the head and shut you up for good! I really don't want that to happen to me. I need an answer by any means. The place where the killer was hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked is... What? 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 Didn't she just say that she was in the bathroom? I already checked the shower room. I'll grind you into food for Gundam's hamsters. Everyone's staring. Looks like I made a fool out of myself for everyone. Not in here, right? What? This is 
the only place because she was in there, right? The killer was hiding inside the fridge. They'd freeze. They're going to climb a mountain made of ice. There's always fighting when you play with two players. Okay, hold the fuck on. Where was... Okay, hold on. Where was... Shh. Where the fuck was Hyoko then? I thought she said that she woke up in the thing. Uh... As long as they hit somewhere on the beach. Uh... Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh... The killer... Uh... God, this pisses me off. I, I guess I missed something that said that she... Everyone's staring, just made a fool of myself. Here. Isn't that where Hyoko was? Is probably hiding in the closet. I thought Hyoko was... I thought Hyoko's body was in there for when Mahiru came in. Was she just passed out on the floor when she woke up? I, I guess I just misunderstood that. Ugh. Yeah, and there's room for only one person. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Behind her, but there's room for one person. Then you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing it? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. Was she in the, uh... Surfboard case. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance, I can only think of one place. That's right. The place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was... <sighs> how? I don't know how big a surfboard case is. But there's no way a person fits in that. Not even... Kyoko. I think it's way too thin to be able to do that. That is so dumb. That is really dumb. I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. My my sense of disbelief for this case has been tested so much. Everything was ground in reality in the first game. Even in the first trial, it was ground in reality. This one is pissing me off so much at, at least with the one with Teru Teru with the iron skewer that I just didn't know could be shaped like that at least with that that was a reveal that would eventually come and it was only one this case has so many openings that it's not fun anymore how is this allowed <laughs> I don't know. I gotta end this episode here. Maybe I'm just getting heated because it's back. It's hot back here, and I am sweating. But I'm I'm gonna take a break. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Yeah. Save here. Thank you so much for coming out. Try and have a nice rest of your day or whatever the fuck. Ugh. That pisses me off.